With the release of Miitopia, Nintendo has brought Miis back into fashion. Players experimenting with the game's demo have discovered that the extended customization controls make it possible to recreate pretty much any character from popular culture. These adorable, customizable faces were once a major part of the majority of Nintendo games, but not everyone was a fan. Masahiro Sakurai himself had grave misgivings about including Mii characters in Super Smash Bros, and flat out rejected their inclusion in Super Smash Bros Brawl. Over time, though, he began to realise just how useful Mii's could be in solving one of the biggest frustrations of his job, dealing with constant fan requests for new Smash Bros characters. According to Sakurai, his big concern surrounding Mii's was that the customizable characters could be used for nefarious purposes. He said, The inclusion of Mii's was considered for the previous game, Super Smash Bros Brawl, but after thinking about it for one minute, I dismissed the idea immediately. I didn't want bullying incidents to occur, and I felt like Mii's weren't suited towards fighting in the first place anyway. The concern was that players might make unflattering Mii's based on people they wanted to upset, which they could then beat up. In one interview, Sakurai specified that, quote, punching and kicking specific people might not be great. By the time work for Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS began, Sakurai's opinion on Miis had softened. By this point, it was even more clear that Nintendo intended to include these characters in as many games as possible, including the Miiverse social media network. There was no escaping them. Plus, Sakurai had begun to consider them a solution to constant fan demands for additional Smash Bros. characters. He said, The biggest reason for the inclusion of Miis was because anyone can join. I know that having even a single character be playable in Smash is very important to those fans. I get requests from fans all over the world, with no regard for things like production costs, copyright, and even requests for characters that aren't in games. Even if it is impossible, that these fans want those characters to be playable in Smash is a real desire. If so, then you should make them yourself. I've set the stage for you to do so, so please, do as you would like. The outfit isn't as freely customizable but you should try to make Miis that looks like your favourite characters. If you use them, you can't complain. According to Sakurai, he felt that a single Mii fighter might be a little shallow, which was why the team developed three distinct playstyles for the characters – Brawler, Gunner, and Swordfighter. This, though, didn't solve the problem of potential bullying or people creating inappropriate Miis and using them in online play. Thus, a compromise was struck. It was only made possible to play as Miis online when playing exclusively with friends. Random online play would forbid the use of Miis, to help prevent unfortunate custom creations from being seen by a wider audience. The developers added in additional Mii costume elements to help players further customise their characters. Over time, these costumes became more elaborate, giving players the opportunity to play as a variety of indie game stars that otherwise could not have been included in Smash. The moral of the story? It's fun to try new things. While Masahiro Sakurai was initially opposed to Miis, he eventually learned just how much they could add to Smash Brothers. Feel free to get creative, experiment, and try something new. You never know what you might discover.